गुरुर ब्रह्मा गुरुर विष्णु गुरुर देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरुवे long back possibly 30 years back i was sitting at the feet of my master and he started speaking i know you how many things are there that you can separate i said there is only two there you are and there i am he said no there are three things the knowledge is also there when i say i know you means there is an i and there is an you i know a house i know a car so two things i said yeah i agree he said in order to know a thing an object or any person that object person and a thing should be at a distance should be far should be different from you so he further explained when i when i say i know you i am different and separate from you he asked is it clear i said yes it is clear then he will go went ahead he says i know the trees i know the trees moving dancing in the wind i know the ganges river i know the monastery i know you i know many disciples so he said i is a common factor i is one objects are many then he went little deeper he said bring your right hand in front of you and ask you uh let your mind say i know my right hand and i said i know my right hand now wait does the right hand also says that i know you how it is possible it is not possible i said yes wherever there is i there is a consciousness where there is i it means i am aware first and then i am aware of you so when i say i that is a knower ha huh? in different texts of eastern wisdom different masters uses different words i am a knower i am a seer i am a purusha and what i know is an object is seen is known is different is separate from me why i am discussing this aspect of seer in the seen the real self and not the self in the yoga sutra patanjali says discover your real self in the very third sutra tadadrashtu swarupe avasthanam so what will happen that is the state of awakening and and uh, what we say uh, realization but when we don't live into that state he explains in the fourth sutra the mind is wandering it identifies it causes worries and anxiety stress and duality and a conflict in the long run So 
Patanjali uses two words from Sankhya Yoga, Prakriti and Purusha. So Prakriti is jad, matter, material, and Purusha is consciousness, I am. Knowledge is there, but we understand that the way the seed cannot become a tree overnight, the same way the understanding in the intellect cannot be realized in a day, but it can be realized by a regular practice with the wisdom. What is realized? What is my true nature? So what comes in between? The mind is impure. It is ignorant. It starts running to the different things at different times, seeking pleasure. So Patanjali, in the very first chapter, he says this chapter, all the principles of the first chapter belongs to the seeker, who is a seeker who is qualified to treat the path of yoga, will understand what, can't we become a seeker? Yes, we can become a seeker instantly. 